Good morning. My name is Kevin Bash and I am the mayor of the wonderful city of Norco in Riverside County. Today, I am going to take you on a little tour of Beacon Hill. If you don't know Norco, Beacon Hill is pretty much our most prominent hill in the entire city. For many, many years, there was a beacon on top of it. That beacon first was lit May 11th, 1923, and it was a promotional ploy to get people to come to the brand new township that their grand opening was Mother's Day, May 13th, 1923. The theme was follow the beacon to Norco. Well, it pretty much stayed lit nonstop all through the 1920s, well into the 1930s. And then during World War II, we suspect it was shut down because in those days, there was a lot of fear that the Japanese would bomb Corona, which was a hub of the citrus industry, and it was a circle, so it made it a very good target. There was also worry about protecting the U.S. Naval Hospital Norco, which later was changed to U.S. Naval Hospital Corona, something we've been mad about ever since. Anyway, the beacon, all that's left of it, and we don't know when it was taken down because uh, different, different oral histories say different times. We can't find anything in the newspaper, and I would love two things get a nice, nice close-up picture of the entire beacon, and two, find out when it was torn down. Anyway, what's left of the beacon is right here. It's this circular, circular uh, kind of platform, concrete platform. You can see where the electricity came into it, but this is the beacon. And again, we don't know when it was torn down, but in the 1930s, it actually began life as the very first airmail beacon so that eventually you had lights all along the hills so that the airmail pilots would know what route to take and wouldn't get lost. Very, very interesting. But there's other secrets about Beacon Hill. First off, it's a uh, very interesting hike up here, not too hard. But during World War II, if I don't fall down, during World War II, it was a, the home of an observation tower. Because again, they were afraid that the Naval Hospital might get bombed. They wanted to see any incoming aircraft coming from a long way away. So all that's left of those observation tower, that one, is these four standards. And I often wonder what what it was like during a Santa Ana wind event, because it must have been just holy heck. You know, at times you would have 60, 70, 90 mile an hour winds up here. An old time resident, Gene Peaster, he once said that uh, he manned that tower before he went off to the war. He was actually a war hero. He, he uh, was with the Air Corps in New Guinea and he flew over the hump many times, but he said that it was, it was eventful. Uh, so anyway, as we sort of go down this trail, you'll see that it's, it's not that hard a trail, but it's, it's a little bit significant. So I'm gonna sort of take you along. We're on the ridge of the Beacon Hill. Now, prior to being called Beacon Hill, it was actually known as Chocolate Drop uh, for obvious reasons. If you stand back, you can see that it looks like a Hershey's chocolate drop. But once the beacon went in, it became Beacon Hill. Uh, I've hiked up here a lot of times. Um, one of the things I'd like to see is any photograph of the, of the observation tower. It would have been straight over there. One of the things I like to think about when I come up here is when you're standing kind of at one of the higher points, Norco to kind of show you what we're like is below is the Norco's here in the foreground. Those are half acre parcels. Uh, not all of them. Some of those are smaller lots, just sort of midway. But in the, you look north, you can see Eastvale, which is an entirely different kind of community. You'll notice the packed houses. And then as you look over here, you really see what Norco's like. Notice all the half acre parcels. Uh, it's really a, really a very, very, very unique community. I hope you're able to see all that. Let me see. Yeah, you can see all that. So 
Anyway, I'm gonna walk up here to another area, and this will be the topic of my next video, is I'm approaching on the south side of the Beacon Hill, I'm approaching the viewpoint of the Naval Hospital Corona. It was a Navy General Hospital, very important, fourth largest in the nation, and its primary purpose was the rehabilitation of ambulatory to acute patients. And over my shoulder here, you can see, first off, there's the reservoir. Uh, they needed water and they couldn't depend on the wells, which is what Mr. Clark had done. They had to have a water reservoir system because it was deemed to be a permanent Navy installation after the war. And then in the distance, you can kind of see the Norconian. Uh, initially, the Norconian was to be a, just a convalescent hospital, not just, but the first. It was a convalescent hospital number one. But secretly, uh, Admiral McIntyre, who was the Navy Surgeon General, hired a group of very specialized officers to come in and to, trans to, to, to transform this hospital into a Navy General Hospital. And they expanded it to where they had, at some points, as many as 5,500 patients there. When you stop and think about the fact that Norco only had a couple thousand, and some people say even less than that. So my next video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the U.S. Naval Hospital Corona. Hope you've enjoyed Beacon Hill. I love coming up here. It's one of my favorite places, and it couldn't have been a more beautiful day. Kevin Bash, Mayor of the City of Norco, thanks for listening.